Hey, what's going on everybody? Garden Cigars here. And I'm coming at you today on a, another beautiful Oregon day. It is just gorgeous here today. Has been for the past few days. Um, I decided I'd do a little something different today because this one just spoke to me. And you know me and loving drinking coffee with cigars. This is a Rocky Patel Robusto Java. And as you can tell, it's square pressed. Box pressed. Either way. Um, really interesting. You pull it out of the cellophane. And it smells like a latte coffee drink. With a little bit of sweetness, a little, little bit of that tobacco, sweet tobacco, but it's really Java heavy. And I normally don't do stuff like this. So, we're going to break things up a little bit. And it smells really good. I almost don't want to smoke it. But... We all know that's the test. So, I'm going in. So that square ring gauge, it's hard to fit in the square peg in the round hole. Same aroma there too. Good cold draw, really good cold draw. Taste it in the cold draw too. Let's get this thing toasted up. That is really nice. That is super nice. You get really good cigar flavors and aromas mixed with the, uh, well, You get the coffee and the latte and the, the aroma. But so far, the initial taste, the initial light, I'm really liking it. I can just get my dogs to quit barking. Huh. Got a Doberman and a newly acquired pit mix. Didn't want her. But she's kind of growing on us, so. She's trying to worm her way into the family. <laughs> so now I got two smoking buddies. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the, uh, it's a neighbor's dog. They really didn't want her. They didn't. I don't know, I never saw really any signs of abuse towards her, but they didn't give her the attention that she needs. And you could tell that. <sighs> Beautiful, lazy Saturday afternoon. Smoking a cigar.
smoking a good cigar. So far it's got a good burn. Feels really well made, really well constructed. But it's a Rocky Patel, I would expect that. But yeah, really good made, handmade cigar with the uh, Java notes. It's it's surprising because with the lighter wrapper, it uh, it's deceiving. It's not. It's definitely I would call it a medium body smoke right off the bat so far. No, no, I won't go. I won't go medium. It's light. It's upper end of light. Upper end of light. Almost tickling medium. But it's got really good flavor. There we go. The dogs running around again. Goofballs. Um, but yeah, it's got really. Really good tobacco flavors. Light, it's it's light but very flavorful. It's got a lot of tobacco flavor with a little bit of the coffee. I don't know. A little bit of a spice. A little bit of a spice, not bad at all. Okay, when you do a when you do a full retrohale out the nose, it's medium, definitely medium. I like it. I'm really really liking this cigar right now. Who knew? Java by Rocky Patel. No. Well, yeah, that's Rocky Patel. He's the one that does. I saw the Drew Estates on the the label there, and it threw me off for a second. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, it's not too old. Um, I don't remember when I got this cigar, but it hasn't been too long. Um, it's a five and a half inch by a 50. So you get a little bit extra length on the, on this Robusto size, which is always welcome in my eyes. And of course, yes, it goes good with coffee. Most of them do. I am really liking this cigar. It is getting better and better the more I smoke this thing. I know proper etiquette, you're not supposed to hold a cigar between two fingers like this. I got a lot of cigar snobs out there that might see that and, you know, he's not even holding a cigar right. No, I'm not. I'm doing it on purpose because I get to keep the cigar which is really the star of this video, in the frame. So, got my hand up on the table, scar in frame, good to go. No, uh, in all seriousness, this is a really, really nice cigar.
Really good flavors. Really good flavors going on. I'd say it's it's probably lower end of medium to medium bodied. And you got really good, again, it's got really good tobacco flavors. Um, pretty good leather, really good leather, actually. A little bit of cedar. Really leathery. Slight, ever so slight earth. Earthy, uh, earthy tones. There's that spice in there. I can't can't really nail down what spice it is, but there's some sort of a spice. Not really peppery at all, which I like. Um, when I get a lot of pepper in a cigar, I always think I'm smoking it too fast and getting the tobacco too hot. Which some cigars, some tobaccos, it's just the blend. There's nothing you can do about it, but. If it's if it's a really subtle, um, almost like a white pepper, then I'm okay with that. But that really that really strong peppery, it, yeah, it just, it just makes me think that I'm burning the cigar and I'm smoking it too fast. But yeah, overall, you think infused or flavored cigar? A lot of I know a lot of people that's not really their thing. Uh, I've had a couple in the past uh, of different. I think I've had a couple of acids. I had one tobacco special. And that was that was pretty good. It, it was a lot smaller than this. It was almost like a cigarillo, or just a little bit long, uh, bigger than a cigarillo. But yeah, for not normally smoking flavored or infused cigars, this one. Drew Estate, Rocky Patel, throw both of them in there. Java Robusto. It is, I know if you like heavy cigars or medium cigars, this one is very, it's very deceiving because of the wrapper. I mean, it's, it's super light and it's got a really nice even tone on the wrapper. I'm holding it in the wrong spot. But yeah, it's got a nice even tone, got a good burn, good solid burn line. I'm liking that. I'm trying to make this video and watching my two dogs run themselves ragged. But yeah, got a really good wrapper, really good shape. And where I cut, I got kind of a sideways cut on it. But the cap, even at my, my highest point on my cut, the cap line is still right here. So it had a really good cap on it. Yeah, I am really liking this cigar. I'm going to call that a video on the Rocky Patel Java. Really, really good cigar. Go out and try some. If you can, get some in a sampler or whatever. I think that would be the best way to try them. Um, but yeah, I recommend this cigar. Really good. Really good. Happy smoking, folks.